Hey what up guys welcome back to Ride 4 Today we are going to be quickly checking out what bikes are there in the game So I love to go to the dealership and you know just uh, ogle at all the bikes in the game So we are just gonna do the same So first off we start with Aprilia uh, So I was hoping that the RSV4 RF would be there But uh, there is a Tueno V4 there is a RSV4 R and I think the factory 1100 is uh, the replacement of the RF version uh, and then there are two types of uh, bikes here uh, that is one is race mod modified and one is endurance modified so the difference between race modified and endurance modified is the fact that the race modified bikes have no headlights and the endurance modified since they run in um, you know in the night uh, they have uh, like you know they have to have headlights uh, due to the endurance race so next we go to BMW so BMW has only three bikes in this game but uh, in ride 3 uh, there were a lot, lot more options um, there, there were many BMW bikes in ride 3 the, including the K1300 and and the old S1000RR and a lot of uh, even the GS 1200 also was there in ride 3 and but in this game it's only the 2019 S1000 RR so yeah this is a lovely looking bike the old S1000 RR had a shark uh, face and this one uh, kind of looks like a you know uh, that energy car bike uh, if you if you guys know what that means it's an electric bike uh, that almost looks like a Pulsar RS200 and I'm not saying this bike looks like that but yeah it's it's going there but it looks amazing though uh, there is uh, there is no contest to how look how this bike looks and it's one of the best bike out there and again there's a race modified and uh, endurance modified version then they have um, a old bike here this ha they have a monster 696 then there's a 1200 uh, cc monster this is a really 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 powerful naked bike and then there is a v4 uh, so the panicale came out with a v4 engine and then uh, they released this super naked v4s along with the panicale and you can see all that uh, fins on the side i don't know why you need <laughs> fins on a street bike or a naked bike but okay then there is the iconic um, 916 then there is a 748 uh, they're all from the same um, era if you can see and then there is a nine triple nine r this bike was a legend i tell you it was used in movies it was there in every single game uh, you can think of um, this bike was uh, introduced to me in Test Drive Unlimited. Um, yeah, the triple nine R and there is a 998R. This is a bike that you know that guy uh, ra keeps riding in that movie Biker Boys. And there is a 1098R. There is a Desmos DG RR. This is uh, the 2006 MotoGP bike, Moto Ducati MotoGP bike turned into a street legal uh, you know uh, race bike uh, then there is a 1299 panigale s uh, that is a twin cylinder uh, four stroke uh, 200 bhp monster and then there is a panigale v4 it was released in 2018 i think ducati finally 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 realized that you know uh, four cylinders is the way to go and uh, yeah then the v4 came out then the v4r came out and that's kind of it for all the stock bikes then it it's randomly all the race bikes because there is no the uh, there is no 1299 super legera all the super legera versions are taken out i don't know why but the wings on this v4 is mad it looks mad and it's a v4 there's nothing better than a v4 trust me and then there's a 999 race version, there's a 1299 race version, there's a V4R race version. 
then there is Harley Davidson. There's a 750 street rod. This is very close to the 750 street uh, bike that you get in India. But um, that's how far it goes. Very close. Not not the same bike though. And this is a live wire. This is an electric bike from Harley Davidson. Uh, if you guys can recall, uh, this bike is ridden by uh, Scarlett Johansson in uh, Avengers Age of Ultron. And then there is a VR 1000R. Uh, this is an old one. This is 1994. I think this is Harley Davidson's first attempt to go at a super bike. And then we come to Honda. So CB600F and the CB400 are legends. If you guys know that or not, uh, they are ultimate legends. Uh, especially, I've seen a lot of uh, CB400s uh, in Bangalore. Uh, they're just amazing and then there are the 250cc and the 400cc bike and then the VFR 750R god damn it this bike it's a f I think it's first of the four cylinders uh, that had a four stroke engine it was a proper inline four with like um, you know 111 bhp at that point of time it, w it was fucking mad and then there is a NR750. This bike, I don't know what to tell about this bike because this bike is exotic. It just like, it looks like a Ducati and it had that, you know, um, uh, cage roll bar kind of thing on the top. And like, it, the, it's the first thing that had a exhaust under the seat and everything. It was, it was just cool. It was just amazing looking. And then there is a, uh, this is a uh, RVF 750 RC45. I think this was the time when all that, um, you know, uh, VTR and all came out. And this was the bike that got just released before the VTR. And then they cha chained it to the uh, VTR versions. Yeah. And then there's a CBR 900RR 5 blade. Um, I actually did not know that CBR is so old and it's been there since a, such a long time. This is 1992 Fireblade. Fireblade is the highest version of the CBR. Then there is every single 90s kid's favorite. This is one of the best bikes that I have ever come, come across. And this is a CBR 600RR. Like, it's a beast. I don't give a fuck about what anyone else says. This 600RR was a beast. And I don't know what happened to the CBRs that, that are coming out right now. They look really pathetic. And yeah, and there is a VTR1000. This was uh, the replacement of the uh, uh, RVF. And uh, you know that old design that Honda uh, maintained throughout the 90s. And then, uh, yeah. And this is one more, one more amazing bike, CBR 1000RR Fireblade. So the other one was a 600cc and this is a 1000cc Fireblade. So the Fireblade will always be a 1000cc bike. And then there is a 2008 Fireblade. Um, then there is a 2019 Fireblade. And just look, let's look at this thing. Why? Like, I'm like, just why? And look at this, this, this is so amazing and I don't get it I just don't get it but okay whatever then there are all the race bikes uh, then there is Mike Halewood's RC 181 it's a legendary legendary bike Mike Halewood was one of the best motorcycle ra uh, racers ever out there and then uh, then all these are uh, just race bikes there's a 600 RR race modified VTR race modified there's a 1000 RR race modified and everything and there's a 2008 race modified and then 19 race modified oh my god okay that's endurance modified my bad then there is Husqvarna I really don't know how to pronounce the name of this company but uh, I tried so again the Vittipillen and the Swatpillen none of them are there it's only the two uh, supermoto bikes uh, the FS 450 and the 701 Supermoto and then there is Kafasaki again there is a F KX 450 Supermoto and then there is a Zafar 1100 so 
just look at it it's a naked bike not being too intimidating and it's just randomly 1000 cc has 100 bhp of power and the same goes with this one as well no not really it's inline 4 monster but not really that intimidating and it can just smoke uh, just about anything and yeah that's how kawasaki rolled at that time then the zxr series came out and you know if you see the pattern all through the 80s and the 90s all of them use the same kind of designs uh if you've noticed it or not and then the zx7rr then the 2019 zx6r uh the legend still says that everyone is still waiting for the zx6r to come out uh in india it was uh they gave a um price tag of 10.49 lakhs and everyone has been hyped ever since but it's just not happening um and let's just wait and see what happens with it uh then there is a 2005 zx6r then this bike oh my god it's it's uh it's called a zx 14r but it's also called a zzr 14r so the, it has two two names um and yeah it, this w bike was solely built only to um compete uh, the hayabusa and then there is my favorite uh the zx 10r this is the 2008 version then there's a special edition zx 10r from 2019 and then there is a 30th anniversary 2015 zx 10r oh my god and there is a 19 zx 10 rr so the rr is the race uh modified version with all that you know wheelie balancers and uh, showa shocks and everything uh yeah and then there is this it's this bike is literally like a bugatti wear on it's just like really fast and up to no good so yeah and somehow they term it as a legendary bike i don't know why and then this is the actual culprit so this bike is capable of hitting 400 kilometers per hour without even breaking a sweat uh it's a kawasaki ninja h2r and in india it costs about um uh, 74 to 76 lakhs which is like way too much but yeah it it is the first bike in the world to have like around like 310 bhp um like it's just mad this bike is just like really fucking mad and then again there there's all the race version of of the uh kawasaki bikes there's a race version then then the then there's the endurance version then we move on to my favorite ktm then there's uh unfortunately there's no duke 390 you have to make do with a duke 790 here and then there is a 1290 super duke r uh i was mad about this bike i was just fucking crazy about this bike uh at one point it is a monster uh it's a thousand two ninety c c uh engine with like you know one hundred and eighty b h p and shit and it was just a monster. How can you control a naked bike that has no uh weight in the f front whatsoever and it just like you know fucking wants to run out of the bat like that and like it's just mad then there is a ktm 390r so we call it the rc 390 here but in europe and america they call it uh the 390r apparently i don't even know why just go on with the single name then there is the pinnacle of the rc series this is a 1190 rc8r uh this bike was actually stopped by ktm because it was too violent like too violent to just be sold as a pro uh, production vehicle yeah then there is all the race version then we move on to Augusta MV um uh there is a bunch of brutals like they are uh, they are like Augusta MV is almost like Ducati they have a bunch of naked bikes and then they have a bunch of uh, su uh super bikes as well but uh, yeah so there's a brutal 800 there's a brutal uh 1090 rr there's a 800 rr um then there is the oro version of the uh, brutal the 1000 uh, cc 
so this bike is again a naked bike with 208 bhp and it looks fucking mad just take a look at it uh there is also ls uh lh version of the brutal the lewis hamilton special edition version and then there is the f4 series this is one of the most iconic series in the world the augusta mv f4 there's a f4 750 they had to come up with the f3 series to uh, you know cater to a smaller audience i mean uh, audience who are going for you know bikes that cost a little less all right so uh, the next bike here is the f4000 ago so uh in 2006 uh augusta mb did uh this um homage kind of thing and they released uh of three or four bikes that were like really 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 irresistible so one of them was the f4000 ago then uh there was the f4 mamba then there is the f4 tamburini and then there was something called as the f4 senna the F4 Senna was a tribute to Ayrton Senna, his um, F1 driver who lost his life in Imola. Um, so then there is the F3 800. Uh, then there is uh, the 2019 F4. Then there is the F4 RR. And so the F4 RR right now is a 214 bhp 1100 cc monster. Uh, and that is that is something that is so crazy and yeah and there is this fi uh, 500 cc uh guacamo agustini's bike just like how uh honda has the mike halewood bike uh there is this uh 500 cc three uh agusta mv uh bike that uh, was ridden by guacamo agustini it is uh, a legendary bike for sure and then there are the race bikes and the endurance bike. Then there is something called as Moto Pattern. There's a S1R lightweight. So all these are like designer bikes that were like, you know, uh, made with, you know, all the aftermarket parts. And they were just like a one-off kind of thing. And then this bike is from 2017. And this is one of the first bikes in 2017. From Sato. Sato is a, um, a motorfi motorcycle manufacturer who uh, supplies uh, Moto Moto Two bikes, and um, yeah, they created a four-cylinder, two-stroke, 600cc bike, and it's 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 a small monster in itself, and yeah. So then we move on to the GSX. So that is Suzuki. So this is a Katana, it's also a legendary bike and then there's a GSX 750. Uh, this bike, oh my god, the, the, I have some nice memories with this bike. Uh, got to ride it a couple of times. Um, and then there's the 2019 Katana, which is, which looks stupid. It, have you, have you seen that Honda Clio? that that people uh click click sorry the honda click it just like people run around in it that's how this looks but this is a thousand cc click yeah that's what this is then there are all the two stroke 249 cc bikes so before the rx and all came out these were the bikes um suzuki had uh, rgv's uh 250 and then they had rg 500 so many amazing bikes then the Jixer series started in um, uh, 19, 1980s and then again you can see the same exact design that they were using um, and uh, then there are there is this oh my god this is the K3 Jixer uh, the K3 engine uh, for the 600cc and the K5 engine for the 1000cc Jixer R and yeah this is a 600cc 2005 model and then there is the uh, Jixo 7, uh, 750 um, and then there is uh, uh, again the 2017 Jixo then there is a Hayabusa apparently this became a legendary bike in India for some other reason in itself uh, yeah so this is the 2015 model and again the straight line speed of this thing is just fucking unbelievable it's 
it's it's close to the ZX14 and the H2. Uh, they are made only to go really quick in a straight line. Then there's a Jixer 1000. This is a, K, a K5 1000 CC Jixer. Um, all these have K5 engines. Uh, and then we come to the 2019 Jixer. They completely remodeled this one. Oh, I don't know why, but I like the old Jixers much, much more uh, than however this looks. Uh, they have the extra branding. That is the MotoGP uh, branding. They uh, they thought that that would help in some way. But I would take this the uh, secondhand uh, Jixer 2005 or 2007 or even a 2014 Jixer. Um, uh, I would take this any day over whatever this is because this is I don't know I'm not feeling this yeah so there's a Jixer 1000 R and the, the, there's a Jixer 1000 and again there's a race modified and the endurance bike and you I, you have to see this the race modified Hayabusa looks really really funny I don't know why looks really funny and it still has the analog clock so that I'm analog digit meter meters or whatever you call them yeah and yeah so then we move on to tamburini so this is a t12 massimo uh this was a, a concept that was uh, made after the f4 uh so tamburini massimo made a t12 uh in taking inspiration from uh the agusta mv f4 and this bike looks amazing look at the exhaust on the side like it just so well built and so well planned and by the way if this was a, a two cylinder or um, you know a one cylinder engine that exhaust would have shredded the fairing but okay then there is the tm racing smx uh, smx uh, super motor uh, this is a super motorbike um then there is triumph uh, you see a lot of triumphs uh, running around in uh, the streets of india and uh, street triple is the most common one that you will be uh, seeing uh, this is the old street triple and street triple there is something called as a street triple rs this is the 2020 version of the street triple rs uh, that is like 765 C, uh, cc and 123 bhp they have buffed it up like crazy and then there is the 2020 speed triple rs this is the highest version naked version of the bike that you can get yeah, it's a 150 bhp 1000 cc monster. And then there is this, this dreamy little machine. Oh my god, what a bike. Like, seriously, what a bike. The 675 Daytona R. It has, like, a, you know, modifiable, customizable all in suspension, Brembo's, carbon fiber parts, and everything. And it's just like 128 bhp and you put a arrow exhaust to it and it just fucking roars bro and yeah then there is virus so this company i got to know uh from uh tom cruise so he the uh so what virus uh does is uh they make bikes they design bikes according to your body so these are tailor made bikes that are designed according to your body so however your body is uh, that's how they make the bike they'll make the bike to suit your body so that's what virus is all about this is a 986 m2 stradali uh it's an italian company when they name it stradali you know it so then we come to yamaha uh again there's a super motorbike um and then there is whatever the fuck this is this is an abomination of a bike um apparently they did not release this in india i don't know why it's a 125 cc bike but okay then like just like the katana there's the xjr 1300 for uh, yamaha so yamaha kawasaki and suzuki were and honda were releasing the like same type of bikes uh, from like around the 1980s to the uh, end of 1990s then they all started taking their own directions. Then there is the FZ1. This is the 1000cc version of the Yamaha FZS that is available in India. So it's called the F FZ1. 
and then there is the M10, MT10, sorry. So the MT125 is made to emulate this bike. This is a 1000cc 160bhp monster and the MT25 is 125cc 415bhp uh, I don't know, uh, scale model of whatever the fuck this is, maybe, okay, yeah. And then to copy the look of the R6, we have the R3 here. Oh God, I love the old R3, but I'm, I'm just not, this look is amazing on an R15 and an R6 and even an R1, but I don't know why I'm not feeling it on an R3. And then there's a TZR250 again, the two-stroke. Um, the two-stroke bikes from the 1990s, from all these Japanese uh, bike makers, 249 cc, it used to make 45 bhp. <laughs> you believe it or not, that's the best thing ever. And they used to belt. They used to belt. And the 250cc bikes in India right now have no capability of doing any of that shit. Then there is the RD500. Um, so RD350 was a toned down version of the RD500. Uh, this had a V4 engine with a two stroke, um, you know. And yeah. So if you see so those small exhausts like that, like that look like a small pipe, you can assume that the bike is uh, two stroke. That's uh, in the layman's term. Don't do it if you're an uh, enthusiast. That's fucked up. And yeah, there's the FZ750 again. Oh, the FZ series, the YZF series, they're very, very old. And then the FZR750. Again, you, you see the look, you see the same look again. And then there was, nobody knows about this bike much, uh, bec uh, but before the R1 uh, was completely uh, redesigned, uh, they copied the look of the 2005 redesigned from this bike, the R7. Uh, it was uh, somewhere between the R6 and the uh, R1 at that point of time. Um, sexy bike if you look at it i love the way it looks and then there is the yamaha r6 this is a fucking rocket it can uh, if you unlock it it can rev up to 20000 rpm no bike in this entire world does that 20000 rpm unlocked and then there is the bs6 version or the euro 6 whatever the fuck version of the r6 Oh God, oh God, okay, okay, moving on. Uh, this is the 2002 R6, and then there is the YZF R1. This was the first iteration of the R1. This bike was there in the movie Fast and the Furious. Uh, and then there is the inline four monster that every single Indian loved. YZF R1, uh, this production model was from 2004, I think, to 2009, before they introduced the cross-plane versions. Uh, so then they moved on to this version of the R1. Uh, they changed the engine to the cross-plane engine. And then they made the bike look much beefier. And oh my god, this bike is sexy as fuck. You should see this bike in white. It's fucking amazing. And then the new R1 is okay. It's all shiny and shit. And but it's a really good bike. Uh, goes without saying. Uh, it's a really good bike. 200 bhp monster. And then you know this is a monster. And then there is the R1M, which is a track version of the R1, which is <laughs> just fucking mad. And then this is the 2020 current model of the R1. Uh, amazing just amazing and then there is the xgr uh, and all those race bikes the race spec and the endurance spec bikes uh and that's it guys uh that was the complete uh roster or risk or list of the uh entire uh right for collection of bikes and i think they've missed out on a lot of bikes in Ride 4 because Ride 3 had way more bikes than this and uh, bikes that you actually wanted to ride. 
because uh, yeah some of the bikes in this game i don't really give a fuck about so yeah so i hope they can add more uh, amazing looking bikes in the dlc well that's how they make money so they're going to release uh, uh, all the bikes that were already there in the previous game through dlc is making us buy it all over again which i won't be doing in any way whatsoever so thank you guys uh, for watching this video please like comment and subscribe um uh i will see you guys in the next video i will be doing taking some laps and uh, around um um mugello mugello um uh, maybe uh, philip island um and suzuka oh my god suzuka the 130r is such a tough corner in a bike and i understood that in this game and uh, also i'll be checking out um i already checked out road atlanta then i'll be uh, i wish there was kota uh i miss kota man uh circuit of the americas uh, it's one of the best tracks ever uh the moto gp series have kota i don't know why they've not added its same game developer um yeah uh and then uh, donington is something that everyone knows but i'll still check it out um and i'm trying to remember what all uh, uh tracks are there in this uh, game i'm already checked out podimo uh yeah uh we'll take it as it comes shall we thank you for watching bye bye guys